Hi, I'm Gary Chapin from the Center for Collaborative Education, and we'll be walking through one of the series of presentations that will help give a better understanding of quality performance assessment. In this video, we'll explore and explain the basics of performance assessment design. We have two goals for this session, to understand the value of understanding by design and to learn the anatomy of a performance assessment. We will also explore how to use the QPA Tool 8 template in our design process. The Understanding by Design Framework by Grant Wiggins and Jay McTie is embedded in the QPA model. Understanding by Design is an educational approach and an example of backwards design. It is the practice of looking at the outcomes in order to design curriculum units, performance assessments, and classroom instruction. Understanding by design has three stages, desired results, evidence, and the learning plan. We will turn to a small town in Japan for unpacking this three-part approach. In Ankaradaki, Japan, they have been creating large-scale rice art for over 20 years. From their desired results, they must create a plan by starting with the end in mind. What is the evidence in the form of multicolored rice that will bring their desired results to life? What learning plan is going to ensure that rice grows where intended? Once the rice is growing, teachers and students must think about how to adjust what's going on so that the rice continues to grow. Then, over time, with practice, they enjoy the harvest. When we think of Ankaradaki and its rice fields, we have to wonder how we get there when we're standing down in the rice. How do we keep the big picture in mind of our desired results for students when we're in the day to day? Let's first tackle this question by remembering our desired outcomes, graduates who are prepared for and succeed in college, career, and life. Please take one minute to think about what knowledge, skills, and work-study practices best prepared you for your life after high school. Pause the video now and press play when you are ready to continue. Welcome back. As we think about what prepared us, we can begin to brainstorm for students what they can possibly do that will readily demonstrate that they are prepared and have mastered what they need to know for success. Let's look at the concept map together. We build our tasks and student work projects around our learning targets. All possible tasks and possible product evidence should connect directly back to our desired outcomes for students. At this stage in brainstorming, we don't want to be limited. What are all the possible rice field pictures that we can imagine for our students? We will now brainstorm a particular learning goal that you have for your students. Try to combine at least one content standard or competency with a work study practice or 21st century skill. A performance assessment allows students to work on both of these levels. That is part of what makes it rich and valuable. Brainstorm possible tasks and possible products. You don't have to commit to a single product or a single approach to how students will learn along the way. It's important to be open-minded and think of all the possibilities and points of engagement for students. Please take a few minutes to complete this activity. Pause the video now and press play when you're ready to continue. Now we are ready for QPA Tool 8, the Common Performance Assessment Curriculum Planning Template. QPA Tool 8 is a task design tool to help you organize your design efforts around criteria for the technical quality discussed in previous modules. Tool 8 will help you think through the elements of a quality task systematically and better organize yourself. 
In the first part of Tool 8, we unpack alignment. What do we want students to know and be able to do? What are the big picture questions that will guide their learning? Next, Tool 8 will take us through the elements of task design that we will then use to build student directions and the rubric. In the last parts of Tool 8, we will describe the learning plan. What will we do to get students to our desired outcomes? We will also plan ahead for what we will do to analyze the evidence collaboratively with our colleagues. To bring it all together, understanding by design and QPA Tool 8 help us to design aligned tasks in which all the parts are connected from the beginning. We want to connect teacher instructions, student directions, and rubrics and create a thread throughout. Designing aligned tasks is the first step to ensuring technical quality. This means that our tasks are measuring what we think they are measuring and they produce consistent results. We will talk more about these elements in future presentations. QPA Tool 8 helps us to build technical quality into the process of task design. It is anchored in the qualities we'll explore through the QPA framework and that we'll see in the assessment validation tool. Now it's your turn. What open-ended complex tasks will you create that will allow your students to apply and transfer what they know and can do in their own way? Alone or with your team, take an idea from your previous brainstorming to complete the Tool 8 template. Think about the questions in the circles while completing this activity. Please pause the video and take a few minutes to work on this activity, then press play when you are ready to continue. For more resources or to dig deeper into this topic, please visit our website, explore the learning platform, or reach out to a member of the QPA team. Thank you so much from the Center for Collaborative Education. See you next time.